Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Mary Ellen. This is the penultimate? Ultimate. Last. Last. It's the last. We'll say last. Episode of Mindfulness Advent Calendar Plus Two. Uh, we are on day 24. We are on Christmas Eve for those who celebrate Christmas. And I'm just um, in my jammies. I had to roll up my sleeves. Uh, I have a very substantial mug of tea. And caffeine is good. Tea caffeine is going to be my fuel for the day. Let us get after it with no further ado's. So we are on day 24. Oh, look at that. This is a shimmer. And this is sugar snap. So I think this is a, like a sugar snap pea. And ooh, shimmer. I don't know why I feel obliged to just charge it all but I do. It's been probably lying flat for some time. And the debate probably rages on whether or not it is appropriate to open 25th today or not. I want to because, why because? I want to uh, start playing around with the actual um, inks for an ink test. So if you have a uh, um, if you want uh, no spoilers, I will give you uh, a little bit of time to sort of uh, pause, turn away, uh, turn off the volume while I uh, undo 25. And I'll make it quick so that you're not sort of banished. <gasps> This is I don't it's probably a shimmer because it's got this color in it and it is limited edition raise a glass Wow okay uh, safe to come back and now we have everything opened so we are going to do some swatch testing um, in the near future, like maybe today. What, 14? You're such a gomer, Gracie. Cheapers creepers, oh well, here we are. Uh, and day 24. Of Shell at Shell's Creative Chaos. See what we have. Ooh, it's something. Oh, ooh, look at these. I have 100% an application for this. I uh, these are going to be great. These are going to be par effect. Very, very happy with that. Thank you so much. And thank you, uh, if I haven't already said thank you a zillion times, let's make it a zillion and one, that you personally curated an advent, a junk journal advent calendar with me in mind is such a um, an act of generosity and kindness, I cannot even begin to tell you. So I want you to know that I really, really appreciate the work and the effort and the thought that went into this advent calendar. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It has been an absolute joy to open every single day. Thank you. Put those aside. Mm. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I knew there was one more. So we are going to, so this is today's shaker card and I like it because it's silent night and it's like white and pure and peaceful. And I really did a good job with the rollies. They, the rollies, the dark, 
is navy, not black. And that really turns out well. So we've got that. We've got a little sticker. And this is going to be the color. Put those all off to the side. We need the sheet. That's what we need. And what's today? Oh, this one is pretty great. Day 24, I'm sorry. Stand outside and listen. Breathe fresh air and savor the sounds of Christmas Eve. Stand outside and listen. Breathe fresh air and savor the sounds of Christmas Eve. And if you're in a place where you can go into some kind of a natural habitat, a beach, uh, a marsh, a forest, a field. Do that, because I bet you there might be birds. Oops, what's that? That's my... Okay, that was the paper, I think. Or Gracie. That pitter pat was uh, Gracie getting that. Oh, she's back. What are you doing? How's she going? She is so busy. She has, literally has a life of her own. Uh, dogs don't, I think, have lives of their own. They have lives connected intimately to their owners. Cats have a, um, a vibrant and uh, full life outside of whatever interactions we may have with them. And Gracie is absolutely an example of that. No idea what she can see or not see. If there is sudden uh, yelling, it will have been the black cat. Okay, so we need something whitish, something goldish. I kind of would love that. You know what? I am always so frugal with all my bits of paper or at least I try to be I want to have it, I want to have it centered there we are oh I would not be able to do that again if you tried here get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that That, nope, that. Yeah, that was one of my early tags. Yeah, or, nope, gotta be on that side. I don't wanna obscure that. Yeah, let's do that. That's good enough. So I have completely lost the plot on what day it is. I mean, day of the week, which usually happens when I am off for a period of time and when the world does not inform me of what day it is. So uh, all of the stores being opened and closed 
and activities around me like uh, mail and newspaper and um, my next door neighbor has regular courier um, deliveries and I see the trucks all the time toing and froing and kids going to school and so forth it just and buses buses are another really good oh must be at least at least i can get to weekday uh must be jaunty there okay and we need two of these This has lasted a good long time, and there's still some left. I'll show you how much. That's pretty good. Thank you, Michaels. There. This has really been lovely because my tree now has 24 additional ornaments on it. And these ornaments are um, not like teeny tiny little bobble things, like they're statement ornaments, that's what I want to call them. And they're really, uh, they look good on my tree. Um, for sure, the the colors, the sparkle, all of that really uh, makes them attractive on a tree. Okay, oh, bells. Oh my goodness. I don't think you can do anything but gold. I mean, we could swap it out and do one red, maybe. Yeah, one red. So, how many of these did I do? I think I did one... No, I must have done two packages of bells. And I probably... I started off with three bells, and I ended up with five. I probably could have been more generous with the bells had I wanted to had I known had I counted had I counted oh bless my soul this is great okay we do not need to do any more than that If you are interested in getting uh, beeswax, you can probably get them at least in two places. One is your local fabric store because any place that does quilting uh, will likely have this. And these I got online from a beekeeper. Which I think is a wonderful thing to do. Helps the beekeeper stay in business and keep bees.
because we need them bees. Got that. That. Just add these doughs. Oh, I need one more. There. And there. Oops. Oh, my old jar's got some nice little white and red accents now. So there we are, day 24. Stand outside and listen. Uh, that concludes this series, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be sad to not to be able to talk to you first thing in the morning and give you some kind of man mindfulness activity. But know that you can always go back and have a look and see any of these other prompts and do them because mindfulness lasts all year long and these prompts are 100 percent uh doable at any particular time i hope they provided you some comfort and something to do that is taking care of yourself during a season where it's probably a little harder to do that than it is normally anyways that is all for now i will talk to you soon take care of yourself stay out of trouble and um be back shortly bye now